Yeah, once you take the red pill and open your eyes, you can't untake it with so many things. Like, I hope no one here believes any of the mainstream media anymore. <laughs> Trump said it perfectly, fake news. It's totally fake news. It's all fake news, just such propaganda. I just can't, I, I just wonder how long it's been so incredibly fake and because I, I woke up to that, you know, a couple years ago about how fake all these things were. I, I, I learned about it when I was teaching elementary school, when I, I would teach um, kids about nutrition and health because I started to learn, wow, they're telling you all these different diets to work to get people thin and they give you all these this misinformation. And then when you start to dig in yourself and you go, oh, all this crap that they're giving people is just to confuse them. That's when I was like, wow, there's a lot of crap out there on the media, but it's a whole nother length when you really yeah, swallow the red pill and just see how much crap is out there. I don't, I don't trust a single thing that comes out in the mainstream anymore. Everything is my own research now. Uh, or other people I trust, I'm like, okay, and then I verify for myself. I no longer take anything. Uh, I, I don't say, I don't go, oh, some scientist said this, so it must be true. No, a lot of scientists are in the pocket of these people as well. So again, I don't believe scientists. I do my own research. That And that, I think that's really what, you know, when you talk about red pill, that's like the next layer is like just realizing that there's so much crap you're fed. Dude, I love that. If you ever come to Central America, I'm buying you all the beers you can drink. And <laughs> thank you, my man. I cannot wait. I would love to. This is the coolest thing, man. I love, man, I would love to, except for the occasional douchebag, which is very few and far between. Um, so many of you guys just reading your comments on that stuff. Like, I would just love to sit down and have a beer with all you guys. Like, it would just be so much fun. We have so much things in common as men. And that's why I get a little upset when men are, when us men get divided ourselves. I, because us men that are red pilled, whether you're MGTOW or just red pill, we have so much in common versus the guys that are blue pilled and beta male men. It's so much harder to connect with those guys. When I try to talk to them about things, like when I say blue pill guys, guys that just have no clue the truth about this stuff, it's like I, I settle for like sports. Like, yeah, I can talk about sports. Oh, how's your job and all that stuff. And I can BS, but it's so much fun when, you know, red pill men have so much in common that it's just so much fun to hang out with a group of red pill men. So I guess this is my just my PSA for stay united and not divided. Yeah, you know what? This is an interesting point. It's funny. I would say these days, it almost seems like, um, yeah, transgender men or men that transition into uh, women, whatever, uh, and gay men. There's a lot of, uh, I played uh, club volleyball in college. And so I had, there was probably 50 to 60% of all the club volleyball players were gay, gay men. And I, I had a lot of fun just hanging out with the guys a lot of these gay men are more feminine than women are these days and straight women. Uh, and, and yeah, transgender women. It's, it's crazy that it got to this point, but it's because of this propaganda silliness, crazy stuff. Yeah, that's a, that's a good point here, Stephen. Uh, yes, you can only talk about surface level ideas with a blue pill man. Absolutely. Yeah, it's weird. It's weird. I find, I find it almost awkward at some point. I can talk with women about a lot more of this stuff than I can with blue pill men. I have way more in common with women than blue pill men because at least I can call women out on the BS of this stuff and I can be like, yeah, you see this stuff too, don't you? And she's like, yeah. And I'm like, don't lie. You see it. I see it. And she's like, yeah. Whereas blue pill men just will refuse to acknowledge this stuff. Most of us, MGTOW, were already it, uh, hit with the red pill long before the, lab the labels in YouTube Absolutely. See, I was very much red pilled to an extent, but I, and I will tell you guys this a million times, I will admit the biggest thing that I was ignorant of was the laws, the corrupt court systems. I saw a lot of this other stuff. I saw female nature, all that stuff, but I didn't realize the court systems. And when that happened, that is when the switch in me happened where I was like, I cannot tell guys to get married. I cannot, I have to warn men about this because it, it's it's so sad to see the, the corrupt court systems. But yeah, um, I was living MGTOW long before I found out about MGTOW, but I was ignorant of the court systems, which made me like, okay, I'm very, very proud of being a man going my own way and, and teaching other men about this now because 
it's sad. You, there's nothing you can do in that sense when you're um, in, in the system of the court, man. Really sad, really sad. Don't forget, subscribe, like, comment, share the video, but definitely subscribe.